Hey, aloha my internet family. How are you? Welcome back to Practical Printing. Welcome to episode four of our Moai series. When we finished episode three, we had just finished construction of the frame. And if you've missed any of the previous episodes, be sure to go back and watch those so that you're caught up on where we're at. If you don't know about the Moai SLA laser printer from PO Poly, the link is down below in the description. Feel free to pause and check those out. So now that the frame is done, we're going to start today by working on the Z-axis and the folding platform for it. So let's get over to the build. Okay, for this next section of the build here, I've went through and already pulled out the parts going through the different pages of the manual that we're going to need from these and pulled them out of the box and set them aside. The first piece is going to be the Z bracket here, which comes in a long piece with the stepper already attached. We're going to need the platform with the pivoting screw, uh, pivoting rod, excuse me, the platform brackets as shown in the manual. And then we are going to need M527 hardware, M320 hardware, and this bracket that goes across the frame. Okay, so with that, let's jump into our next step of the manual. The first thing that it's going to tell us to do here, let's see if I can switch camera angles. Next thing it's going to tell us to do here is to attach the end stop sensor cable, which is here, to the little connector here on the side of the end stop. Now, let me see if I can get us a zoomed in angle on that here. And see if we can get that to focus. Right there is the connector on the side of the end stop on the Z axis that we're going to plug into. And we're just going to take the cable and find the right side of it that connects. There's two sides of the cable. We're going to plug it in there like so. And we're just going to pull that cable out of the way for now. Next, we're going to take four of the M320 screws out of the little baggie. And we're going to use it to mount the Z axis to the back of the frame. And of course, we want to make sure that we have the proper side hex wrench. Let's move this boom back out of the way. Out of the bundle provided. So this is going to attach to the back like so. And I will. Try to get this started here, and then I will change the camera angle to show you how it goes. And there goes the screwdriver, so let's get that back to you. Okay, I have my hex driver back up, and we're going to continue trying to tighten that back up here from the back. And can't really see it in that overhead shot, but let's try to do this here. So this will sit like this in the upper section of the frame. There's two holes here and two holes here that it will attach to. And once you get two, the rest should go in pretty easy. But they go through the back of the frame. Get that in frame there. Go through the back of the frame and just line up with the holes. 
And again, you don't want to over tighten these down, you just want to get them started for now. Make sure that they are all getting purchased. And once they're all started like this, then we can go ahead and tighten them all down to the frame. So let me go ahead and stand this back up and do that. Okay, there's a hole right here, if you can see it there, right above that end stop bracket, there's a hole right here. We're going to take this cable and feed it through there, and although this isn't shown in the manual, it is shown in the pictures this way. So we're going to take that, feed that through there, feed that through here. So we have a nice clean path for that cable down into that lower section. And we'll call that part good. Okay, one thing the manual recommends here is that there are eight screws here behind the threaded rod that moves this axis up and down. And it's recommended to double check those now to make sure that they are tight and that they haven't loosened up at all during shipping. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay. Our next step has us working with the platform here. We need to have the platform, these two brackets, and as best I can tell they are identical so the orientation isn't necessarily going to matter. And then we need, from the M527 bag here, we're going to need four screws and four nuts. So let's pull those out now. And by the way, you might hear me saying, excuse me, three, four. You might hear me saying um, screws sometimes, bolts at other times. I'm using those interchangeably here. So as long as we all are on the same page about what we need. We've got four of those, four nuts. And we will flip to the next page of the manual here. Okay, so now it's going to tell us to put the silver bracket onto the platform's metal rod. And it looks like this orientation in the picture. With these going down. Might need to loosen those up a tad. which of course takes the next larger size hex wrench. So we'll loosen those up so that we can slide these on. And we'll do the same thing for the other side. Okay, so once those are on there, Install the, the platform cr cross frame front and back that the beam is close to the left frame. Okay, so this is front, this is our left. It goes front to back. Oops. Put the beam close to the left frame. So it looks like it's going to go like this. So we are going to put these through here just to support it. And 
And I know you can't see that. I will move it here in just a second to get that down here into frame. So what we did was you just put these bolts through here. And we have that loosely floating at this point. I'm just leaving it there to rest. And we need to try to get these nuts onto here. Okay, so while not required, the needle nose pliers are going to make it easier for me to get these nuts started since I've got big old hands. And once I have those nuts started, I'm going to use the wrench that was included here, the spanner, to hold those down and tighten them up. Okay, now that that is on, a little bit of side to side wiggle room, so I'm not sure where exactly that should sit just yet. Although it's telling us to secure that screw that I had pointed forward there on the silver bracket. I don't, this does allow us right now to have a little bit of left or right play. So I'm just not sure where or how far left or right that should be centered just yet. So I'm going to go all the way to the left for now and I will shoot Peel Poly an email to clarify that. Before we cinch these down any further, I'm just going to snug them up just to make sure that we don't. Okay, so that gets that piece on there. Now let's move on to this last bracket here. And then we will call it a wrap for this one. Below metal bracket in the lower right, secure it between the front and the back frame near the right side. So let's rotate this. So back, front, this piece is going to go right here. And it looks like right about there. This is going to use two more of those M320s. Sorry, four of those. Screws. We'll make sure we have our proper size tool. Okay, so on this bracket, let me pull this out and show you this here in the camera. There are two holes on either side that are going to come through the frame top to bottom. There are also two holes in the back here. So when this goes down, there will be two of them that drop in from the top. And we're just going to, I'm just going to get that started into the threads so it doesn't fall. Start this top one. Again, just getting it into the threads so it doesn't fall. 
then I'm going to line up these back to here. Okay, that about wraps it up for part four of our MOI series. At the end of part three, we'd finished building out the frame. Today, we've added the Z-axis, the pivoting bracket, and the support underneath it. In part five, we're going to start installing the motor that moves this bracket and continue on with the build from there. I hope you're enjoying the MOI series as much as I am. If you like what we're doing, please be sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that bell down below so that you'll get notified as each segment of the series gets put out. With that, we'll see you next time on Practical Printing. Aloha.